All right, well, I'm gonna do a little video on repatient this. It is the upper windshield wiper cow grill. And I'm gonna take these off, these little caps on the uh, windshield wipers. And these that you see, that go all along right there. This one right here. And take these off, of course, like I said. A brand new one. An actual Mopar one. It's like 375 bucks. <clears throat> Delivered, it's another 200. It's like 500 dollars. So I'm gonna try an aftermarket one. The one that I have, it's just old and beat up and cracked. It really is. It's got some like, literally pieces cracked off. I'm gonna start by taking these caps off. What are the windshield wipers? This is what I'm using. I got a little pack of four or five of these little picks at Harbor Freight for I think five bucks or something stupid. But it, I mean, it pried it up pretty good, pretty easy. And there's the bolt for that. So crap. And I'm gonna say this, for a Mopar one, delivered it would have been over 500 bucks. I bought an aftermarket one for 170. It does have a couple scuffs and like, where it seals right here, this is all cracked, but the other one, the new one, it just doesn't look as clean. But it's aftermarket, that's what I get, right? But a huge difference in price, that's for damn sure. All right, and I'm using a 15 millimeter to do these. Bam, got it. I don't know if you can see this, there's so much dust on my car, and this was just over freaking. Look at this shit. Oh my god. I didn't understand what it was, and I looked down on the ground. We have squirrels here. Fucking little squirrel dug this hole, these little holes, and it knocked a bunch of fucking dust all over my car. It's not really in the front of my car, it's not on my hood a little bit, but. But this, this is ridiculous. Little bastard squirrel. I don't know if it was Chip or Dale, I'm gonna kick his ass when I see him. You gotta really pull these things up. They're on there pretty snug to lift it. That one was harder. I used this to pry it up at the bottom and wiggled the actual windshield wiper. You'll see if you're gonna do this. Shimmy the windshield wiper while you pry it off the plastic. I got a set of these, I think it was on Amazon, it was like 25 to 27 dollars, but it came with probably like six of these these pry things. They're fantastic They say these are one-time use let's see oh I got it. Oh shit cool. I went to the dealer yesterday To buy some new ones. Well, actually I thought These ones didn't come with it because they have these have a Phillips head screw these actually come on the new ones, so you don't have to worry about these. But they say these ones, there's one, two, three, four, four of those that are like, like this, like this. But I just pried it out with this tool. Not that tool, but the one with the smaller head on it. Watch. Let's go through with it. And just be easy with it. Get jiggy with it. Yes, sir. Cool. Get it. So there's a total of four. You can see how old these are. I'm gonna paint these matte black. <laughs> There's also another one here. <laughs> Boy. 
Oh yeah. And the funny thing is, is my wife lost her wedding ring in her little Ford, and I had to take apart the interior. This fell off, and I don't know where it went in her car. And I kept it, and it's the exact same one for the Dodge stock ones. That's funny. I jacked her. And there's another one right here too. See that one? Right there. Okay, the one I just jacked for my wife is gonna go here now. I just broke the head off. Use vice grips to get it. Vice grips to get it. There's these little tabs right here too. They got two of them. People talk about they bought one and didn't come with that. The new one that I bought came with these and it came with those, but didn't come with the ones that go along that. No biggie. I'm gonna try to get this one off or go around it, it's rubber. All right, I had to get a really small one now to get these. There we go. Oh, and I just dropped it. I lost one, but I don't even need it because the other one came with a new one. So if you're trying to save those and you didn't get one when you ordered one, you better hold it on the top when you lift it up. Put your finger on top, because I just lost one. Fell down that hole, that butt crack hole. Stank. Okay, I figured it out. These, you're going to want to turn them. Let me see. You're going to want to turn it about a quarter ways counterclockwise to release it. If you can see that in there, that's a little hook. It holds on this way. If you spin in the corner, it releases it so that I can pull this up now. I just did the other one and now I just gotta pry it up. Prize up. There we go. Okay, it's free. And there's another pin on the other side like there was on this side. I want to mention this. This is the most trickiest part of the whole thing. This thing has this. If you don't pull this up right with one of these, you're definitely going to break that. And it goes right here in that hole. Boom, and it holds it down. And this is like a seal for the water that goes along here. For your in-cabin in air filter. Right up nice, I'm telling you. All right, I got it off. Here's a new one. Here's those two little pins. These just come out of here. They put them in there for when they deliver it. I put these in the sun because they were bent. You can kind of see it has a slight bend, but once I put it on, I think it'll be all right. 170 bucks on eBay, aftermarket. And look at, let me show you. I don't know if you could see those scratches right there. Just the make of it isn't so good. It's like the bad cut right there. Bad cut right there. Scuff mark. Bad cut. You can see the lines wrong. It is what it is. Here's the old one. You can see where it cracked. Up by the windshield. There's primer from when I painted it. I didn't wash it off good. I'm gonna clean all along here. It's so dirty. And with the new one, they do give you a new seal to seal, seal your <clears throat> in cabin air filter. And it goes along here. I'm just gonna pull it off and make it nice. Alright, well, I'm putting the seal on now. I did the seal around the air box. Kind of cut little pieces, 
I went around it like this to seal that. And now I'm running it from here to across there to the other side. So there it is. The seal's on, I'm gonna put the cowl on. All right, I got it to where I want it. These are a little tricky, the ones right there, you can see I kind of messed up the head a little bit. You really need a tool to kind of push down inside from the side to turn it. The plastic isn't very strong, so that's going to give you a little bit of a problem, you'll see. And just so you know, there's clips all along right here that go in here. There's maybe like four that go along this whole thing right here. So when you get it pushed in, it'll stay there. i got to put these little things in, which is right here. Pull them out, the new one. Put this one in right here. It went in nice and easy. And this being bent when the delivery just a little bit, the sun will make it flatten out. I did uh, add this back to it right here. It's a seal. And it's basically one of those pins that you pry up with this. I'm going to put the other one on. It goes right here in that hole right there. And it's on the old one. I'm going to use that one. This. I literally use this to cut a piece out of there to get that one out. Because I'm not going to rend this. Look at how it goes. That's like the other one on that other side over there. Right there. Here's this one. This pin is in here. Stationary, basically. So I'm going to put this in the hole. It'll sit like this. I painted the old faded ones matte black. I did not use paint for plastic. So it's gonna last a bit, but these are not gonna be shown in the sun, so I don't I think they'll be fine for a while. It's not a big deal. I can always pry them up. And on the back of this cow, there's seven pins that hook in. I thought there was four or five, but there's seven. And the seal that goes along the bottom of this, I'm going to keep it, which is basically this one that goes along there. I'm going to keep it for something another day. All right, it's done. All right, 160 bucks, 70 bucks, something like that for that aftermarket.